Hi, my name is Lori Kowalki and I'm the school counselor here at East Elementary School. This is my 24th year in the district and my sixth year as a school counselor. This year has been quite exciting with all of the new um, PBIS, uh, Positive Behavior Intervention System, and RTI, which is the um, response to intervention. Um, we have been doing many things with uh, PBIS, including intervention groups, uh, study halls for our fifth grade, fourth grade, and third grade for math. I've been doing some social academic intervention groups as well, and it has been very exciting to see the kids progress and move forward in their, in their social skills and um, their character education and, and so forth. I go into the classrooms every other week um, and give each class 18 lessons throughout the year and we study everything from care, uh, career education to character ed, social skills, study skills, uh, just a potpourri of, of things to help them become the best kids that they can possibly be. So it has been an um, uh, interesting year with Check In Check Out which is um, where the kids um, will come to an adult in the morning and check out with them at night and or at the end of the day and um, they do a really nice job with their goals of being respectful, responsible, and safe throughout the days. We had a new cool tool this year with um, bully prevention and we taught the kids how to handle the bullies that um, might be bothering them and they um, were taught through the PBIS program bully prevention and it um, referred to um, what a bully is, uh, the different kind of bullies, um, bullying um, uh, kinds of bullying and how to uh, stop the bully, how they would walk away and if that didn't help that they would then go tell an adult. So we gave the kids a cool tool for helping them with um, bully situations. My name is Angie Valley. I am the 4K teacher of the Baraboo Early Learning Cooperative, or as we call it, BELC. Um, this is our first year at East Elementary in the 4K program. It has been going great. Our kids are really socializing, learning a lot of their alphabet letters, shapes, colors, and really enjoying the classroom. Um, we really appreciate that East has been so great about accommodating the four-year-old kindergarten program at East, you know, allowing us to use the playground, the school. We are really using our cool tools, teaching our four-year-olds about that. Um, so when they come back in first, second, and third grade, um, they'll know the terminology used in East. Our 4K program has a special education inclusion program with children with multiple disabilities, included with typically developing four-year-olds. Um, our four-year-old children are really learning a lot about the socialization skills that they will need um, from now in their life until they graduate high school and go into college. Um, we're really giving them those key aspects of how do you socialize with a friend, how do you carry on a conversation, how do you ask politely for toys. Um, that is the main reason for the Bulk 4K program is the socialization and getting them into a routine and scheduling and knowing how to communicate with friends and socialize. Any four-year-old child that turns four by September 1st of the school year is um, eligible for the four-year-old kindergarten program. You can register at GLW um, to get your child enrolled into a 4K program. There are multiple sites for 4K, some also offering wraparound care um, if you also need child care. This year has actually been really exciting for us as PTs and OTs. Anne and Erin and I have really kind of come together more strongly as a department. The Wednesday afternoons have given us a little bit more time to do that, which has been nice. And we've all gotten kind of 
really excited about the new brain-based research that has come out. Mm -hmm. And through that, have really tried to find ways to help the teachers implement some of those strategies in the classroom. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing that we can't reach every kid in the district, but a lot of kids mm -hmm. can use help with things like self-regulation and attending mm -hmm. and focus. Um, mm -hmm. and even handwriting skills and things. So mm -hmm. it's been really nice um, and well received. We've developed the universal strategies for the classroom and kind of emailed those out on Mondays and have gotten just a really great response with that. So we're really excited too that next year there will be the intervention times in place and hoping that we can help and facilitate a lot of strategies for all the teachers and for the kids in the district through those times that are available. One of the things that I've done this year is Yoga Calm, and I'm really excited. I'm here at East. I've been working with Ms. Henderson's classroom as well as Ms. Pappas' classroom and really helping to teach the kids some self-regulation and just really more of an awareness of themselves, how they feel, how they're responding, how they're focusing, and noticing the same in their classmates. And just in a few short sessions, we've just had some really nice success. It's amazing how kids just presented, just given a little bit of direction and a little bit of information can really start to make use of some of that and realize that everybody's day goes much better when we're calm, relaxed, and kind of ready to learn. So that's been exciting and we just look forward to really bringing more of that to the district next year and really trying to make our mm. PT and OT strategies more universal. I'm Miss Henderson, the kindergarten teacher, and some of the highlights of our year have been, um, first and foremost, that comes to mind is our class play. We put on the three little pigs as part of our study of um, folk tales and nursery rhymes, and it was such a great opportunity for the kids. I had my really shy ones really shine in this show. We performed it for teachers and students and family, and we had a really great time doing that. Um, another big part of our year in kindergarten is coming from the very beginners who don't even know all their letters or can't even write their name to where we are now. We're 167 days into kindergarten and I have full-blown readers and they're writing like crazy. Um, they're, you know, putting spaces between words and capital letters at the beginning and punctuation at the end and they're so proud of themselves and I couldn't be more proud of where they've come. Um, Every one of them has grown by leaps and bounds, so it's been a great year. with some students this year and have seen tremendous growth in their reading, writing, and spelling abilities. LLI stands for Leveled Literacy Intervention. And I've used LLI with a lot of the kids this year. The LLI program provides students a chance to read many different kinds of books, fiction, nonfiction, and series of books. Um, for example, there's some about bugs and it's a series book, so you learn about different types of bugs. Um, into the sea and they have really cool pictures so it keeps the kids engaged um, and the kids like reading about it and it's books that they feel confident reading and they can follow along they know the patterns they know cues to look for and um, their growth is just tremendous some students have grown a full year in just a half a year just using LLI alone and I see it working with different kinds of students kids who have academic disabilities uh, behavior disabilities they like LLI and they use it and they feel confident using it. It's a system that um, provides consistency. They know what to expect and they know what's expected of them during it and they look forward to it. They look forward to the new books every day. Every day is a new book and then they can take it home and um, read it with their parents or they can read it with their teachers or friends because they get a take home book with it and they really enjoy the book. So I have really enjoyed using LLI and using it for a reading activity with the kids to help 
their reading and writing and spelling levels increase. Point. The kids' behavior minimized during LLI because they are in a system that is at their level that, but also challenges them and makes it fun. They're in a small group anywhere from two kids to three kids in the group and working with them using the same materials other kids are using and um, the behaviors just go down because they're confident in what they're doing and they, they like it. From the PBIS standpoint, um, we have seen significant growth in kids' behavior at recess time, in particular with lining up. Lori Qualky has done some social groups and these groups focus on how we line up and how we behave, such as keeping our hands to ourselves, keeping our feet to ourselves, not budging in line. Um, so w working with a small group of kids on those skills have significantly decreased those issues and they're eliminated. We don't have any more big issues of at recess with lining up. Um, these social groups also go into, um, we're going to be going into the classroom, which is really exciting. We're starting to plan for that and our PBIS team has um, worked really hard on setting up times for social academic groups. So with the intervention times and the social times, we're hopefully going to see a lot of academic and behavior improvements starting next year. I am Cassie Nauman. This is my first year teaching fifth grade at East Elementary. It's been a great experience. Everyone has been so helpful and supportive with me. Um, some things that I've done this year to uh, manage my class is a reward system. And I've used the clip up chart, which encourages positive behavior. And if they get an outstanding, they get a stamp. And after five stamps, then they get a reward, and it's their choice. This has really helped control some of my behavior. For the rewards cards, kids have had lunch buddies, they've had inside recess, they've had candy as a reward. It's basically whatever they want for a reward. Um, I will allow as long as it's uh, school related and appropriate. For social studies, I've used Nauman Nichols and I've enjoyed using that as well. The kids are very responsive towards them and they enjoy getting them. For the Nauman Nichols, they earn them if they are raising their hands, if they had a really good social studies answer, if um, they're quiet in line, if they are coming to class and copy their vocabulary term down right away. Um, so it's just kind of a constant reminder to um, be a responsible and respectful student uh, so far. We have not done any rewards with them. We're saving them for the end of the year. All right, this is an example of our clip up chart. If the students are doing, uh, if the students are being responsible and respectful and safe, I'll clip them up. If the students are showing me that they are ready to learn and they have all their supplies up, if the students have great answers, I clip them up. Lots of reasons why I clip them up. We even took it a step further and created this parent contact for outstanding behavior. And if the student is on outstanding and gets the clip up one more time, then I will call home and let the parents know how great of a day the students had. Overall, it's been a great year. It's gone by really fast. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all of those of you who have helped me survive my first year of teaching. So hi, we have Mr. Holm talking. Um, this is my 33rd year teaching and it's been a wonderful 33 years. It started at East School 
in 1979. We had that picture up there from my very first STAR students. Through the years, I've had many, many, well, 33 different classes at West School, Fairfield Center School, and twice here at East School. The kids that have been here have worked really hard, and I've been proud of them, but we've also done some really special things. There was a time when we had a story about handicapped kids or kids who needed help at recess, and sometimes we made stilts, and the students would practice these, and I know some of you were really good, especially the older fifth graders or sixth graders or seventh graders had fun on stilts out at recess. When the students were reading about Laura Ingalls Wilder, and they didn't get how could Mr. Charles Ingalls make a door with no nails. So the students ground and drilled and put pegs in the door to make a really strong door with no nails. I know that there was a year in 2008 when we had over a hundred inches of snow. The wonderful kids from that year decided to make a snow monster outside. And so we had a huge mouth, big eyes, scales on the monster, and a humongous bumpy tail. The whole monster was longer, about as long as the gym. We've had a whole bunch of you that have raked our school lawn, and so we have done community service in third grade when different kids rake so hard outside. So each year students have done something that helped in this school, like raking, or at the Ringling Theater, like many classes have gone there to clean the Ringling or work on the Ringling. And I'm proud of my students for working so hard and also helping their community. This year will be my last year teaching at East, and it's been a wonderful 33 years of teaching, and I'll be saying goodbye.